Hey y'all, it's Jerry Jolly Josie Vlogs and welcome back to another YouTube video from the next door house once again. This time we are in the living room today, y'all. Still once again on Ooh, Super Bowl Sunday as we are getting closer and closer to game time, y'all. So I hope you enjoy today's special Super Bowl special and I hope you enjoy the game. And please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, y'all. Without any further ado, we'll go ahead and get into today's special video. What we're going to be doing today, y'all, is we're going to be going off of a special list that we have made of topics about the Super Bowl. And we're going to go through and talk about them each. So this is going to be kind of like what the experts do, just a fun little idea for our Super Bowl special. We're going to preview the game for y'all, let you know everything you need to know, make our picks, all that stuff. Just a fun little special video today for the Super Bowl. So without any further ado, Josie's going to kick us off with the first category. The first category is the preview. And my preview is that the score will be... I can't hear you without your mind. <laughs> that the score will be 27-24. Um, I'm not going to tell you who I think is going to win because that's going to be my next my category. score. All right, it's fine. Fine. Um, I think that it's gonna be. It's hard to say this because we also have like a favorite thing, and I and I want to say something that is kind of part of the preview. So I just think I'll say that it's gonna be twenty seven twenty four. Won't say who wins. I think though it's gonna be over fifty points by barely, mm. and I think I'm not gonna tell you who prevails. All right, my preview for the game is, of course we know, it is the Eagles versus the Chiefs. And it is in Arizona, right? It is yeah. in Arizona. 6.30 Sunday night, which is today. It is Sunday for us. And it is like 4.35. So we are doing this pretty close to the game. And I think we're going to upload it right after. So 6.30 is the start of the game. There's been pregame all afternoon. Yeah. This is going to be a great game. I have the same idea for the preview 27 24 i'm not going to tell you who i think is going to win but i think this is going to be a great game it's going to be balanced on both ends it's going to come down to who makes a mistake all right y'all so i'm going to save my score pick for the for a little later when we give our picks as who's going to win the game i'm just going to give a this pretty basic preview of the game tonight we got the eagles versus the chiefs the two best teams in their conferences the two best teams in the league Arguably the two best quarterbacks in the league. Great offense, great defense. The Eagles do have a bit of a stronger defense, so I'm interested to see how that compares with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be balanced. I think it's going to be a fun game. And I think it's just, it's going to, all around, it's going to be a balanced game. And it's going to be good to watch these defenses and offenses go back and forth together. I think we're in for a real treat tonight, and I'm excited to watch these two great teams face off later tonight. My pick is, as I said, 27-24, but the team I'm, I think is going to win is Fly Eagles Fly, Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and an incredible defense. Can't stop it. 27-24 also, but the Chiefs are winning this game, and for one reason alone. No one thinks they're going to win. I mean, maybe, but everywhere where I go around, it seems like the Eagles and the Chiefs have been, like, put down. At least us three have been putting them down all season. Everyone thinks Tyreek was such a big part of their team, but I think they're there to prove that Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and all these new young players and their defense is going to be able to carry them, and they're going to win the Super Bowl despite how much I want the Eagles to. I think the Chiefs. All right, y'all, my pick is going to be a little bit of a higher score than theirs. My final score prediction is going to be 34-31, and I am going to take the Philadelphia Eagles to win this football game. I think Patrick Mahomes will have a great game, but the Eagles' offense all around is much more complete. Jalen Hurts is a dual-threat quarterback. They've got a good run game. Their defense has a big advantage over the Chiefs, which is why I'm going to pick the Eagles to win this game by a field goal. My question is... And answer it. Is it a bolt? Oh, it's a question. My question... If you don't have it, you can let us go. Yeah. 
My question is, which team's run game will support the offense more? Mm. And I think the Chiefs' run game is going to carry their offense, especially since Patrick Mahomes has been shaken up. I think the Chiefs' run game will be crucial in their win today. All right, I'm going to kind of give a question with, like, two questions in it, kind of like a multi-question. My first big thing to, for me about this game that's going to be crucial, special teams. Which special teams is going to be better? Which special teams is better going to be able to support the team? That's going to be a huge question today. I think the Chiefs special teams is going to be better than the Eagles. They're going to get more kick return yards, more success on kickoffs and punts. But I still think that the Eagles are going to be able to pull off the win. And the second part of the question, turnovers. A huge part of today's yeah, game. A big me. question for me. Who turns the ball more over? Jalen Hurts is such a good quarterback. He's a dual threat. He doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. Patrick Mahomes lately has been throwing a lot of a, a little more, a more interceptions than average. I don't. Th I think he's going to have a great game, but I think some costly turnovers from the Chiefs. Uh, maybe an interception or two from Patrick Mahomes are really going to doom them in this game. I think the Eagles are just going to be too perfect on offense, and the Eagle and the Chiefs are going to make some mistakes and turnovers, and that's why they're going to lose this game. All right, back to my question. I promise I'm not copying Jolly. It literally came to me as soon as he said it. My question is, who's going to win the run game? Isaiah Pacheco, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Or Miles Sanders, and in my opinion, Miles Sanders Sanders is a way better running back than yeah, Isaiah right. Pacheco or whatever. Pacheco, Miles Sanders can run more, and I think he may even get some um, pass touchdowns, like catch the ball in the end zone and get mm. some tutties. And my bold prediction. Yeah. What's your bold prediction for today, That's so wrong, okay. My bold prediction is that. Uh, it's also with Miles Sanders that I think he may get two catching touchdowns. Wow. And maybe even, it. maybe, this is the maybe, but maybe even one running. All right. Jolly. I forgot what my bold prediction was going to be. Here you go. Let All me think right. about it. What's my bold my prediction? bold prediction for today's game is that the Eagles defense throughout the entire game will live in mainly Isaiah Pacheco, but the whole Chiefs running attack, running offense all together, Patrick Mahomes, all the running backs throughout the entire game, the Eagles defensive line and the Eagles defense and secondary all as a whole will limit the Chiefs rushing attack to under 50 yards in this entire game, y'all. Bold prediction. Eagles Jeez. defense comes in, steps up, ready to play, shuts down the run, under 50 yards for the Chiefs rushing offense dominate in that area of the game, help them get the win today. I don't remember what I was going to say, but I'm going to change it. My bold prediction is Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to base it all on Patrick Mahomes. I think he is just going to put the team on his back, and he's going to do everything he can. I think Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are going to connect. I think Travis Kelsey is going to have another 10-plus catch game. Wow. And Patrick Mahomes, 300-plus yard passing game. They're going to carry their team. And they're going to use Pacheco when they need to, and he's going to help a lot. He's going to have a 100-plus rush. Yard. Now, I do have a question for you. Bold prediction, how many touchdowns does Patrick Mahomes have, rushing and passing? Three. Okay. Josie? The QB matchup. Pretty basic. This, this, is, pretty is, this is like the two best QBs all close to modern day. Two. Two. The two best QBs in modern day right now. Soon, May... In the old, and once they get older, because they're very young right now, Patrick Mahomes is like 28, and Jalen Hurts is like 25. So I think once they get older, if they keep improving from where they are right now, right now they're here, their potential is like over here. They have a ton of potential. I think if they keep improving, it's going to be a battle for who can pass Tom Brady as the GOAT of, of NFL. Mm -hmm. All right, the QBs. As I said, they're both going to be the biggest and most important part of this game. The running backs are going to be crucial too. But as always, it's always about the quarterbacks. Which one's going to slip up and make that mistake? That's going to cost the team. And I think both of them are going to have great games. I think 
whoever wins the game, I think that cute. Oh, I can't say that yet. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the QBs are just going to be the best players on the field. And they're going to do what they've done all season and carry their team rushing and passing. So the intrigue with the quarterback matchup in this game for me is the number one overall passing quarterback, quarterback in the league altogether, and your best dual threat quarterback. The two best teams in their conferences, the two best quarterbacks at what they do, what they specialize in. That's why I'm really intrigued in this quarterback matchup, and that's why I'm excited. I'm excited to see the damage Jalen Hurts can do on the ground with his legs against the Chiefs defense. And I'm excited to see how how well of a day Patrick Mahomes has throwing the ball. Obviously, they're both going to have great days. They're both going to pretty much carry their team or carry a lot of the load for their team. And they're both going to dominate this game, which is why I'm excited to see in a high story affair which QB comes out on top. My MVP, I mean, as I said, whoever wins is going to be their quarterback is most likely going to be the MVP. Unless A.J. Brown goes psychopath or Travis Kelsey goes psychopath mode. I think the MVP's got to be Jalen Hurts. I, he may even get more than 100 yards rushing and like more than 200 yards throwing. You can't not make him MVP. As I said, it's going to come down to the quarterback. I predicted the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes all the way, despite Travis Kelsey having a great game. It's just going to be Patrick Mahomes. It always is. I'm going to go a different route. I'm obviously going to stick with the Eagles as my MVP pick because they are going to win the game, in my oh, yeah. opinion. My MVP for the game is going to be A.J. Brown. I'm going to go the receiver route. J Jalen Hurts' top target, the most dominant receiver on that field tonight. I think he's primed for a breakout game. Jalen Hurts is going to have to throw the ball down the field, and he's their main guy besides Devontae Smith. I think he racks up a lot of yards, racks up the touchdown, help his team win the game, and I think that's why he's going to win the MVP. I think he's going to have 100-plus yards and at least two, maybe even three touchdowns tonight, help his team win the game, earn himself the MVP. The X Factor, this is the reason someone's going to win the game. Turnovers. Mm. Whoever fumbles the ball, yes. which running back fumbles the ball more, which quarterback, even though they're so great, so awesome, one of them's going to make a slip up. Either Patrick Mahomes is going to overthrow it or underthrow it. Jalen Hurts is going to think he's too old that when he's running and slip up with the fumble. It's, the X Factor is going to be the turnovers. My X Factor is the Chiefs' defense in a total. I was going to just say the Chiefs' like safeties mm. are going to eliminate the deep threat, which gets rid of Jerry's MVP pick. I think the Chiefs' safeties are going to limit the deep threat, and that's going to be huge. And that'll give the, the Chiefs' D-line chance to dominate because if they can't get the ball deep, then the Chiefs' D-line is going to have to rush them to get things short, and they can convince the defense if they're stopping the deep. And I think just the Chiefs' defense in a whole. The X factor for me is going to be the Eagles' offensive line. They've been dominant all year. They're going to face a probably Chiefs' defensive line that is probably the highlight of their defense. If they can have another dominant performance tonight, I don't think this game stays close, but they're going to have a tough task against Chris Jones. I think their offensive line is going to hold up well like they've been doing. I think they're going to continue to need to be dominant tonight, and that's why I'm picking them as the X factor. They're going to have to protect Jalen Hurts, let him get the ball down the field, let him get out of the pocket. They're going to need to have a good game and be able to protect him well if their team is going to want to win this game. I think the most under-the-radar thing is going to be the Chiefs' offensive line. It, the Chief, actually, the matchup between the Chiefs' offensive line and the Eagles' defensive line, I tweaked that a little bit. Because both of those don't really do much, like, ever. Uh, the Chiefs' offensive line, I mean, so, it made... The D-line for the Eagles is pretty good, but... The D-line for the Eagles is all right. They're both all right, but I think if the Chiefs' offensive line can hold the Eagles' defensive line, it's going to come down... I think the Eagles defensive line, if they get through, that's gonna they're gonna make a huge difference in this game. Make Patrick Mahomes roll out with a hurt ankle. And if the Chiefs offensive line can hold up against the Eagles defensive line, Chief Patrick Mahomes has all the time, can do doesn't have to roll out on a hurt ankle, can rest that ankle a little bit, 
throw, do what he does best, sadly. I think under the radar is the Chiefs wide receivers. Because, like, who thinks about them, honestly? But they have some good receivers. Smith Schuster is pretty good, is good. And I don't really study the Chiefs, so I know nothing Valdez about Scantley. them. Oh, yeah, Valdez Scantley, he's good too. And then they got their running back. I mean, they have some speed and good hands at receiver. And I think no one's, like, giving anyone credit. They're all thinking about the Eagles receivers. But the Chiefs have some pretty good receivers. I'm going to go along as the same route as Jolly, actually, because he kind of stole mine. But I'll go in depth a little bit more specific. Chiefs wide receiver, Chiefs wide receiving core is the under radar all around thing for me in the game. But I'm going to go more specific. The under the radar player for the Chiefs is their wide receiver, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Mm -hmm. He is going to be the under ra the radar player in this game. He had a great game against the Bengals, and I think he's primed for another good game today. He's a very under-the-radar player since coming there from Green Bay and playing as number two behind Juju Smith-Schuster. But I think he's going to have another great game today, which is going to have to help keep his team in this game. They're going to need good wide receiver production to stay in this game. I think he's primed for a good game. I think he's a definitely an under-the-radar player, and I think he's going to have a great day, make some good plays, help his team out a ton today, and he is definitely the under-the-radar player for me. My favorite thing to see is how Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey go up against the awesome Eagles defense and how Pat and how Jalen Hurts and AJ, AJ Brown and Devontae Smith combat with the mm. Jalen Hurts with a good de, de, Chiefs defensive line and those two receivers and another this is another under the radar player. I think Goder, the mm, team, Dallas the, Goddard. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. So I think how the evil, how Jalen Hurts handles the pressure and how he can, and how A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith can catch the ball. My favorite thing, I'm not going to go a player <laughs> approach. I'm going to go a point in the game. The last two mm. minutes of, of each half is what I'm looking mm, forward to. Gonna Who's going to capitalize in those mm. spots? And that's when the pressure's on, really, especially fourth quarter, under two minutes. Fourth quarter in general is going to be great. And I think it's going to be just a great experience. If you guys aren't watching it, you need to watch it because this Super Bowl is going to be a fun one. Yep. All right, I've been looking forward to getting to say this all video, and I think I'm going to shock some people here and go a completely different route. The favorite, My favorite thing in this game that I'm looking forward to is the fun. coaching matchup. I am so excited to see how these coaches match up and go against each other. Nick Sariani, a first-year coach for the Philadelphia Eagles, who has his team having a magnificent year all the way to the Super Bowl. And then Andy Reid, who's on the opposite end. He's been in the NFL for a long time. He's had the Chiefs being great so many years. I'm so excited to see how this young coach goes up against this great coach who's been in the league for a long time. But not only that for me, that's not the main reason for me. The main thing is Andy Reid against the Philadelphia Eagles, his formerly coached team. I can't wait to see how Andy Reid does on the Chiefs, coaching for the Chiefs tonight, going up against the Eagles, who he used to coach. So that is my favorite thing. I can't wait for that. I think it's going to be a huge factor in this game. And I'm just absolutely thrilled to see how this coaching matchup between Andy Reid and Nick Sariani goes tonight in this Chiefs and Eagles Super Bowl. All right, y'all, so thanks for watching. This went way longer. We're on, like, 19 minutes. But we yeah. hope you guys enjoy. Those are the topics, topics. we weren't by. So this is just something fun we wanted to do for the Super Bowl. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Jerry, yes. you can go ahead and continue with the outro. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching our Super Bowl special. We had a lot of fun doing this, y'all, and I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I hope you guys enjoy the big game tonight, y'all, which is now only about an hour away. One of the best Super Bowl we've gonna ha we're going to have in a couple of years. We can't wait. We're so excited. So I hope y'all enjoy that. Thank you for watching this video. We had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it got helped get you guys a little bit more insight into the big game tonight, just before kickoff. But please make sure to like and subscribe. Go Eagles. check out our community post because we will have a post up tonight before the big game, asking all of you all who you think and who you want to win the big game tonight. Chief. But thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you all enjoyed this special oh, video. It was a great one. Hope you liked it. Enjoy the game tonight. It's going to be a great one, y'all. And we'll see y'all in our next video. Go Eagles. Peace out, y'all. Fly, Eagles, fly. Hey.